when it's just instinct, pure instinct, is incredible. Because of his disability, he has suffered relentless bullying. How are you going to cope with this? He said, when are you booking me in for the next race? I'm Elliot Fuster, I'm 15 and I've been racing in the Junior Silly Kind Championship, which is Sitch and Saxons. When I was six, I've just been begging, begging my mum to just take me karting and then just throughout there, just develop into cars. I've always been passionate about cars and everything. It was when he was very, very young. He wasn't hitting milestones. Sometimes it was it was simple things, but he didn't walk or talk till he was about three. So as well as the dyspraxia, we think there's kind of overlapping comorbidities as well but we've never really we didn't really want to label him he's got a lot of autistic tendencies as well and struggles with a lot of things how important have your parents been oh very very yeah they've been pushing me to do it pushing me to like perform well the best of to my ability basically they come to all your races yeah day? yeah everyone that they can do there would be a birthday party at school and it would be a go-kart track and in the first few years, Elliot would turn up and it's, oh, that's Elliot that people ridicule. And then he would just go out, not say anything to anybody, and absolutely annihilate everybody. When I was younger, I, I played rugby and other sports. I didn't get the grist, grist with the actual thing. But and then with racing, I don't know how I've just clicked with it. We went to um, team sport in Leeds and they ran a national indoor karting championship called the BIKC. He won the heats, he then won the regional final, he then went to the national finals. In parallel with that, there was a thing called Young Driver mm. um, that was sponsored by Vauxhall in real cars, and he was 11 at the time. Yeah. And it was a skills test. And Elliot won the regional and got invited to the national finals at the NEC, which was Quinton Wilson and Vicky Butler Henderson. And he can walk down the paddock and he waves at people, smiles, he'll walk into people's trucks and awnings and just start chatting away and it's just, it's been a transformation this mm. year. He's got involved with the Dyspraxic Foundation and he did um, an event recently where he spoke out because a lot of dyspraxic people can never get their driving test. Because of his disability, he has suffered relentless bullying, um, literally from tiny. Um, and it's, it's saved his life because he, <laughs> at one of the schools that he was at, they just said, you don't belong here. And that's actually what the head teacher said to him. You know, unfortunately for us, you can have all the talent, but without the right, you know, the backing and the sponsorship, it's, we, we, we're trying to do everything we can to support him. But this year in the Junior Saloon, I got, I was top rookie in one of the races. So who or what has been your biggest influence in the race? It's probably Max Verstappen wanted me to do it, to try to get to his level, or even the Le Mans side of it with the tin top. So he always seems to qualify quite poorly and then he's got to fight his way to the front. So he makes it really hard for himself. I want to stay in like the tin tops because, well, it's my type of thing and I've not done car outdoor karting. So I'll front to progress in that level. What we've noticed is he's a lot more confident now than he was even at the start of this year. Yeah. We didn't know, it, it was a huge leap into a British championship. Um, at some of the biggest circuits in the country at Silverstone, Donington, Branzach and places like that and mm -hmm. how he would cope from going from karting to then what we'd class as adult car racing. Mm -hmm. And the, the lights go out on the grid. I mean, every single race that he's been involved in, he's, he's overtaken seven, eight, nine different cars. Um, he's gained places in every single race. Um, and it, that seems to be where he's, he's most comfortable. If you could have given any advice to your past self about racing, what would you probably have said? Never give up. Never give up and try to follow your dreams.